Got it. Hello, hello, Cornelia. Nice to see you today. Yeah, good morning. It's such a nice sunshine out there. Yes, we have beautiful weather. Cause Cornelia is also in Sydney as I am. So Cornelia, before you know, we jump into you know more details. I would like uh, you to introduce yourself. Just say like, uh, what do you do, and something about yourself. What you want to share? Uh, so I originally from Indonesia. I moved to Sydney. 10 years ago now so it's such a long time <laughs> so I feel like I'm already like a Sydney cider <laughs> um, I work as a financial analyst in a top financial um, services company here in Sydney and before that I was like um, there's a lot of career changes journey to get into that point as well um, but I'm happy to have my job now like very very good environment and it aligned with my values and everything and I also have a daughter who's seven years old now and then she's so lovely and then um yeah and then I'm just I'm a single mother now so I have her 50 50 with um, her dad um so it's very very like a good arrangement and then we kind of um we're still a family but like in a different way but yeah that is good Awesome. Thank you so much. And Cornelia, I know it's been like a while and maybe it seems like, oh my God, like it's been many months already and may not be like very comfortable for you, but I want you to come back to the moment when mm. we met and what really spoke to you, yes, to connect with me and decide that, yes, I need that work. Wow, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that seems like a really long time ago. Um, so we met at, at one of your workshops, I think. Was it like the feminine power? Um, Women's circle, yes. Yeah, yeah, the was women's circle. circle. Yeah, so at that time in my life, I was already working, um, do a little bit of work on myself. So I went to psychologist and then I was at that point where... Um, well, I already left my job. So before I had a job that I wasn't really happy with and I was mm. uh, being feeling like I wasn't myself in that job as well. Like I was losing my soul. <laughs> and then um, I took an action and then I left the job and I got the job where I am now, which is the one that I'm really happy with. But then at that point, I was still kind of feeling like I'm missing something or I haven't find my purpose to the fullest um already digging into myself better to know myself better and uh, with my psychologist but I felt like the work is it's good like it's, it's um it's living towards to the path that I want to be but I want to go deeper mm. and then at that point I also just had a breakup <laughs> and then so it was it was kind of like a mess of like a maze of like a searching of what kind of life that I want to create in my life and I had a realization with the work from my psychologist that I have a lot of um, self-doubt and then things that I had like the condition in myself or my childhood that's blocking me and everything and um, and I was getting into more spiritual path as well when I realized mm -hmm. okay I have um, energy like um, all of these things that come from my past or my childhood is actually the energy that blocking me to kind of move forward mm -hmm. into getting the life that I want and then so then when I met you and um we did like meditation sharing with other women I was like oh my gosh I was not the only one who actually thinking this way <laughs> and I also know that I need help to get more into that level um like other than the work that I've done with my psychologist to kind of more like clearing up my energy because I just can't I just can't feel this thing in my body that I want to let it flow and let it out but I just don't know how to mm -hmm. so and um, from that workshop then I experienced your technique and then your meditation so I already got into meditation at that point as well um, but I just want to go deeper and then I really feel connected um, to what you teach and like your mindset and everything like your practices um 
And yes, yeah, so then I just feel connected to you straight away. <laughs> and then I know that like this is this is the part that I want to go to go to the next level so then I can feel more fitter and then like just to be able to create the life that I want. Yes, beautiful story. Thank you so much for sharing. I remember every you know moment of that uh, women's circle, and you've been very quiet at that circle. There were like you know girlfriends coming together, and you've been very quiet. But at the same time, I felt like you you were taken so much like out of that uh, circle, and then connected with me and said like, Kinga, I really want to do something about it. So, yeah. <laughs> and now here you are, yes? <laughs> yes, yes. Looking back at that time, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. I was very, well, I was already raised to be like a quiet racer um, <laughs> kind of girl, which is what I was used to. So I wasn't really, I wasn't really comfortable to, share my stories to you know um to other people who I don't know so like in that way mystical obviously I do not know anyone <laughs> like they're all strangers but then like as but you I, opened I, up I remember you opened yeah. up your heart and you said that I want to feel all those things and you felt that like it's there but it's the matter of activating it mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> Because as I shared and open up, I feel actually connected and I realized, oh no, we're not strangers. We all feel the same way. And then we're not alone as well. So yeah, that was really, that was really heartwarming. <laughs> yes, when women do the same work, they already feel the soul sister connection. And that's the beauty that we feel like we belong. We feel we are loved, we are supported. And tell me like right now, during the program and after the program because you already explained like what was the, the issue for you uh, what changed for you and um, so during the program like I did not know what the program is going to be <laughs> I did not know what it is and then I was just came with it with open-minded and open heart I'm just like I just go all in like it's like um this this is all I want and then I just have to go all in and then just follow it through and then commit to it fully so but like yeah during the program there's a lot of work that kind of um how do I say it um attacking me like attack not me like attacking part of me that I was still holding on so mm -hmm. that I feel a little bit resisting at first but then I realized like I, if I want this work, I cannot resist. So I had to let go of everything, which is a very, very like, wow. <laughs> it's like um, the wall just got broken down. And then I'm still emotional talking about this. And then... I know, I feel that too, because <laughs> I remember my own experience. I remember your experience and every woman experience and it's, it yeah. touched our heart. It touched touch our emotion so yes go for it <laughs> yeah. so um I feel like all the walls have broken down but then I think I was like grieving the part of me that was broken mm -hmm. yeah but then again after I got out of the grieving stage he was kind of like oh my god like there's a lot of this space in my heart that I haven't ever felt before that I haven't seen before and then from there is then like I start connecting with other people in a very different energy. Um, I start opening up more, so much more that I wasn't even scared to show them part of me that like that is there hidden, like being hidden or like I, I hide it because I was like, I don't want to show that to anyone. Uh, but then I start connecting from that place and then my relationship with everyone in my life with my friend with my close friend with my family in particular specifically with my dad changed so much that now we connecting in a deeper level and we just being who we are and then it's just it's just very beautiful like our conversation just flowing we're just sharing life with that kind of with no expectation that I'm rescuing you or you rescuing me or anything like that like what I did in the past or like without blaming or anything it just come for pure love 
and kindness and compassion. And then, so even though my family doesn't live here in Sydney, so obviously they're still in Indonesia, uh, I feel the deep connection with my dad every time I talk to him, even though he's not here. I feel his love as well. Like I just feel his support and everything. Um, yeah, even though I can't see him physically, but I feel the energy and then it's then how that changed our relationship so much. And then like with my brother, um, we are so a very we have a very, very big age gap. So then like in the past, I never know how to connect to him. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh, I'm like, I'm so so like in a different era or like different mindset to um where he is. But but now because I'm showing part of me and then like I'm I'm also kind of like um become more like childlike like I'm not really taking things seriously anymore <laughs> or um like so that's why then I become more relaxed and I just become more open up when I talk to him and that's how we then connect and then yeah it's just it's it's beautiful like my relationship with my family improves so much just because I let down all those blame that I had all just past her that I had towards them and then just connecting from a deeper level and then from the pure love and connection. You open your heart so beautifully, yes, to all that emotions, to all that feelings and to be vulnerable because that's what you said that you stop wanting to hide and you mm -hmm. decided, no, I want to share that part of me. And that part shows up to be, it always like that, yes? The most beautiful part that everyone is attracted to. Yes, yes. And then that's how then I feel like so much freer. And then I'm like, I'm ready to get out to the world and share me, like share, share myself and share my value and then impacting other people too in my life. So, mm -hmm. And what also changed for you, uh, apart from relationship, because I know there have been some amazing changes in your life. So if you would like to share something, because I'm really excited about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm already like, oh! Um, so it's like when I was trying to kind of um, map out, not map out, like um, figure out my purpose life and what I really want to do. I'm passionate about the job that I have now. And um I'm really passionate about finance world and helping people to be financially independent and then just to like take control of their finance and then just so then they become more freer. But I also like to share like the vulnerable side of me, the part of me that I've been hiding to the world as well. And I like writing. So I mean, I'm trying, I'm sharing my story through my words and through my writing. So then because of you, then like, um, get connected to someone in the publisher that I can have my chapter of my life that I want to share to the world and to inspire other women to actually just also um, take the self-healing journey to be to own their truth and then to step into their own power to create the life so that is very very exciting <laughs> I'm still in the process of it all. Um, it's it's like it's exciting, also kind of sometimes scary. But I, I feel like that's just just the journey and then the process. And I'm just like having fun with all, and then just like doing everything fully as well, just embracing everything. And then, but I'm really really excited to share my story as well to the world. So it's not only so nice. It's like I'm not only sharing to this close circle of my friends and my family and she's telling it to the world so yeah excited and just <laughs> <laughs> and I remember when we met you said that one of my dream to fulfill my purpose and passion is writing but I don't know even how to start and here you are yes, yes. Three months, four, four months later ready to write your own chapter in the yes. beautiful multi outer women book so good on you so much happiness and congratulations that you open up because you open up to these opportunities yes it was like it was scary at first to say yes i was like am i ready <laughs> but then yes i am ready like this is my story too um and i want to own it and i want to tell it to the world so so yeah so then i say yes from that place and 
I know I'm still in the journey. I'm still in the process, but I'm just going to have fun and enjoy. <laughs> we all are on the journey all our lives because we want to grow and evolve and become better. Yeah. And bring more joy, more abundance, more love every time. The journey will never end until we die, right? <laughs> yes, yes. And then that's mm-hmm. how I feel. It's like every time I step into my power, I will go into the next level where I will get uncomfortable but then I have just to face it and then just go with it go with the floor just write it and then have fun along the way I think that's the key like I just want to have fun in life (laughs) yes because it's all about that I always say we do the deep work we do the really deep the core healing work but we bring so much joy when we unlock the heaviness the shadow or like even the pain from the past whatever comes up there is nothing that the burden is already, you know, dropped off and mm. we bring the true essence of us, yes. which is so beautiful. Mm. Yeah. And then that's how I feel what I got from you. I feel like so much freer, all my baggage, I left it there down in the mountain and I'm starting to climb in the mountain with light. You are like... Where is that? I don't feel it. Yeah, I'm like, no, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to drop it here and I'm going to start climbing. And then like as soon as I climb in and I start just like keep opening my heart and see how beautiful the world is from the top. And, you know, just like, and it's easier to climb as well as soon as I left my baggage there. Mm. Before it felt like so heavy because I had my baggage on that I don't know why I kept holding on to. (laughs) Yeah, but then like the, the work... I'm like, I would say the first few weeks with like in your program, I was got so, so it's like intimidating as well. Mm-hmm. But it's like, yeah, it, it takes time to just get into that mindset as well that like this is intimidating and uncomfortable, but I have to do it if I want to keep climbing that mountain and then to get the life that I want. And it's just, it's so worth it. It's just uncomfortable for like a couple of weeks. And then after that, you know, everything just becomes so easier. And then all the information and all the things that um, come into me after that, it just, I just absorb it so much easier and so much flowing. And then it's just, it just from there and then it just keep getting better and better. And then I feel just, I feel so much more me. I feel so much more my authentic self. That's wonderful. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and I, and I know that like, at the beginning of the journey, it's always the most challenging, as, we, as you said, breaking uh, like that wall, going through that, yes, the, the all armors that we built for many years. And knowing also that, no, I can do it. Because you've been so committed all the time. You've been so committed to the work, to yourself. And you said to me, I remember that you said like, Kinga, I'm doing this for myself, for my life. I don't want the old life anymore. I yeah. want the new one. <laughs> and it's like, yes, you got it, girl. <laughs> yes, yes. And then I was like, oh God, now I can see, um, like I can see my future life. Like I don't, I know it hasn't arrived yet, but I can see, I can feel it and I'm falling in love with it. And then when I look back my old life, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I use that? You know, it's like there's so much more that I can achieve in my life. There's so much, like there's so many, like there's so much abundance and opportunity out there. And if I just, I just have to go there. And then um, I don't like, I can't, I can't imagine myself like holding back anymore. Sometimes self does still creeping in, of course, because we're still in the journey and stuff. We like, all do. Yeah. <laughs> And then like, if I go to the next level, it will get more uncomfortable. So we, I still have to go through that process, but then it kind of, um, it shortened the time for me to recover and get back to my new mindset. So I think that's, that's, that's the beauty of it. Like, it's like some people probably think, oh, once you do the, the work, then that's it. And then you kind of off, off you go. I'm like, uh, no, actually... <laughs> It's just like you just keep working on it every time, but it's just really shorten the time and also shorten the emotional kind of attachment to it, to what happened to mm. you. So then like you kind of move more freely and move um, like more open in, 
in comparison to the past. It doesn't mean that the work's done after the program's finished. Yeah. It's keep evolving and keep growing. But what I got from the program was like all the practices and all the the new mindset, the like the all the information and then all the energy that I've been releasing. Mm -hmm. And then I invite new energy and I can feel that. And then I just use, and I'm operating from the new energy now. Mm. And even though after processing it, but like it's really shortened my energy, um, shortened the time, the recovery time, the processing time, then I can actually take action kind of like quicker. And then also more sure of myself that this is what I want. Like, it's like, I'm going to get it no matter what. I'll find a way. Yes. When it's going to come, but it will be here. <laughs> so that's like, that's the new like, you know, that's like the new excitement that I got about life now. And so much already is happening. You know, the more is coming because we yeah. once we start to do that work, we know we drop off the old and we see that space. We feel that space. And you know that there's so much more to coming, but all that new are already, it's already happening right now as well. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. and it's like it's more about like the feeling of like oh wow it's like you know mm. like that feeling that yeah I know something more coming I know and I'm ready for it too when it gets here you know and I'm gonna enjoy it to the last minute so exactly and the life is so pleasant when you operate from this kind of space energy and mindset as well right <laughs> yeah 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 and then everything in your life it it feels so much more better, so much more fulfilling, so much more lighter. Um, mm. Even though like I still do my job, sometimes you get busy, but like if, when it's busy, I'm actually enjoying the busyness too. And then when it's quiet, I'm also enjoying the quietness and then I can do other things that I want to do, like my writing and stuff. So it's like everything just feels so much more flowing and then, you know, just like easier to write as well. It fully tuned in into your life. Woohoo! Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And Carnelia, what would be the message for you then for whoever is listening to us, women? Um, what will be the message about the program from your like experience, but why why it's worth it? So my message will be if you've been thinking about it. I think now it's time to stop thinking and just doing it. <laughs> so if you've been thinking about it, it means that you really want that life. You really want that life that you've been envisioning, that you want to work through it too. So now it's time to just take action and just do it. And then be open-minded, just open your heart to anything that comes. And everything in the program, like King, I very, very, like can feel what I've been struggling as well. And then I can feel that like our connection is very, very authentic. And then we've been supporting each other throughout the way. Um, even like after the program finished, you know, we still have this beautiful connection, like an empower woman connection and support. So then it's it's nothing like there's not there's not a better time than now if you want to do it. And then once you're in it, just fully committed to it, you you will feel the difference. Of course, it's going to be hard because <laughs> it was hard. <laughs> we, <don't laughs> lie. we know it's a hard yeah. work. But yeah. this is for but women it's... that are committed and want to do that hard work to go through that. Yeah, but then like nothing can come, like there's no good that if you're not working towards it as well. So it's like if you want to get it, you also need to work towards it, you need to take action and commit it fully. And then you need to decide, just go all in. Like, And then in the end, you you... When you look back, you will not believe that how then you come from there to this, what you feel inside. And then it's like, it's also a matter of whatever that you feel inside. Um, and then that changes the your life situation in the outside. So it's like, I'm still connecting. I'm still having like the same people, but like our connection, my connection completely shifted. So it's not really about the people that I have in my life. It's more about how I connected because my like what I feel inside change so it's like this there's no better time if you've been thinking about it just do it and then go with it as well with the program commit it fully 
and just be open-minded open your heart through every steps along the way because Kinga really really can feel your energy and your connection and yeah that's 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 thank you so much lovely I can <laughs> feel your beautiful words and the truth coming from you the truth and the trust as well and yeah I I can't say like how much you change you transform your life in such a short time it's such a short time and you've done it yes and I'm looking forward to see more uh, yeah. of your progress growth transformation <laughs> and achievements <laughs> <laughs> and dreams coming through yeah i'm so excited to share everything with you too <laughs> and i'm looking forward to hear about it if anyone would like to uh, speak to you uh, ask you something would that be okay yes of course yes. I'm, I'm very like, i like <laughs> to other women too <laughs> I know you are in a beautiful project right now. So you sharing this story. You are on a mission. <laughs> Cornelia, thank you. Thank you so much for such a heartfelt conversation with you. Such a pleasure and so much joy to oh. look at you. Here you are, like, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I have crushed you looking at your beautiful energy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Have a lovely day and we will be in touch. All right. Thank you, Kinga. Bye. Love Bye. you.